Have you ever wondered, should I test myself for diabetes? Am I at risk? Well, here's how you would know. If you're overweight or obese and you have one of the risk factors I'm going to tell you about in just a moment, or if you're over 45, whether or not you're overweight, you should be tested for diabetes or prediabetes. Now here are the risk factors that you should know about. Number one, being physically, physically inactive. In other words, if you're a couch potato, that's a risk factor. If you have a parent or a sibling who has diabetes, that's another risk factor. If you have a family background uh, that is suggestive that you are at more risk for diabetes, that would be things like uh, African American, uh, Alaskans, uh, Native Americans, uh, people of Asian American background, and a large population is the Hispanic or Latino population, or the Pacific Islanders, all of these are additional risk factors. Uh, if you've had a baby, if you're a woman and you've had a baby that's more than nine pounds, that is an additional risk factor. If you have high blood pressure greater than 140 over 90, that is yet another risk factor. If your good cholesterol is low and your triglycerides are high, that is a risk factor. If you're a woman who has a condition of polycystic ovary disease or polycystic ovary syndrome, PCO or PCOS it's sometimes called, uh, that's another one. If you've ever had a, a fasting glucose, in other words, you haven't eaten breakfast, you go in and your blood sugar is a little bit elevated, that is a risk factor. If you have severe obesity, or acanthosis nigricans. Now what is that? That's an issue where the area in the folds of the skins like under your armpits or on your neck or sometimes on your thighs, that area becomes kind of dark or black and velvety. Increased color and darkness, that is acanthosis. That is a risk factor. And finally, if you have a history of cardiovascular disease. I just want to tell you that in my menopause practice, I see so many women who have no idea that they could be pre-diabetic or have diabetes. A fasting blood sugar is a great screening test. You just don't have breakfast. Come in, have a blood sugar. And another test we're going to talk about in another video called a hemoglobin A1C will also be a great screening test for you. So once again, if you're obese or if you're overweight and have one of the risk factors I mentioned, or if you're over 45 and whether or not you're obese, you should be tested for prediabetes and diabetes. And regardless of the outcome of these tests and regardless of these symptoms, you should be retested again in the next one to three years because this is a kind of disease that sneaks up on people. They're not really aware that it's even happening. And why it matters and why it matters to you is because if you have prediabetes and you catch it then, it's so much easier to reverse it than it is to have type 2 diabetes and then be having to fight that illness and to reverse it from that point. It's always better to stay well than to get well.